Hello everyone! Time to do an update for my sacred seal tier list, or upgrade tier list, whatever, you get the idea. Um, before we start, I do want to point out that these seals are now available to be forged. So if you don't have brazen attack res yet, there you go. Next month should be also attack death bond, so if you miss that, look forward to that. Because I'm going to make multiple comparisons to that seal. Anyway, let's move on to the tier list itself, shall we? Alright, so... Yeah, uh, I, I'll be completely honest, the seals on this shot are good, but not game-breaking by any stretch. Not even close. As a matter of fact, for Fear Stance, I... Mm, I'm gonna be honest, the only seal they did announce is the one that's probably the most consistently useful. But, alright, let's start with Fear Stance, which is honestly not... Bad? It's kind of the one that's in the middle. Pure Stance gives you 6 attack when you get attacked, and you attack back, obviously. Um, the problem that this seal faces is that stance are exclusively made for enemy phase, yeah? What else is really good on enemy phase that we got literally last month? Attack Death Bond. So, why would you ditch 5 attack, 5, five death, or 6 attack? Now, there are some characters that do use it, do use it pretty well. Uh, the main one that comes to mind is obviously Reinhardt. Um, obviously the World of Therakia one. The, he can really abuse it, even with DC. That's a really good seal to combo into because of his Maestro Schwartz working also in enemy phase. If you take him out of the equation, the amount of characters that can really use this seal <laughs> they are not that high. They really are not. So, yeah, uh, it's a good backup seal if you already have attack death bond used on someone else. Other than that, it's kind of iffy. I prefer attack plus three over fear stance because that I can use when attacking as well. So, yeah, fear stance is a bit, a bit meh. Uh, and Steady Stance would have the same problem, the fact that Attack Death Bond is just exclusively better than than just one of the two. St sturdy Stance would stand a chance. Kinda. But not Fear Stance, I'm sorry. Fear Stance is a good seal still, it's worth upgrading. Just, it's a bit lower priority than say your second or third attack seal, if I'm being honest. Moving on to the star of this damn show, Attack Speed 2. Yeah, um... Kinda silly, isn't it, that this is the best seal. Attack Speed 2 is a really good seal because, like I said about Attack Plus 3, it works both on defense and on offense. So if you have a multi-phase unit, this works pretty well. For example, my jam key is lacking a bit on speed because he's not fully merged yet. Attack Speed 2 is a good option to that. And I don't lose all three attack going for a speed seal, so it's a good. Uh, how to say? How do you say this? It's a good um, way to make up for you know the the, la the fact that I'm losing attack for for using this. Now it's no Swiss fair, obviously, but it's still a solid seal nonetheless. Also, the best part about this seal, only 100 uh, only 100 coin to upgrade it to max, so. That makes it already a cheaper alternative to attack plus 3 while also offering other things. It's also cheaper than fear stance. And it costs blue medals instead of red. Red are extremely on demand. Can't say the same about blue. So yeah. Moving on to drive res, which is the last seal of this bunch. Like I said, this video is very short. Because there's not much to say here, it's just three seals. Drive Res is honestly the, honest to god, the worst seal of this bunch. Yet it's the one that's like hell in a piedestal, like it's the best thing. The problem it runs into is drive attack is obviously the best. Drive speed and drive death are both equally as good because it depends on the team comp. And drive res is, uh, well, I hope you're not using any range unit with this because that's not gonna help unless they run Mystic Boost, which is luck behind a 5 star, which is luck behind a mi mythic slash legendary banner. 
Uh, no. <laughs> you get the idea. It's a very, very horrible, atrocious uh, way to end it. But then again, it's kind of like just the last seal that was missing of the lineup. So, eh. Obviously, res is always less in demand than death. That doesn't mean the seal is useless, it's not, but it definitely has less use than Drive Death. So, yeah. <laughs> All that to say, Drive Res is not great, but it's usable, and it's cheap. So, yeah, in my case I actually upgraded it, I upgraded Attack Speed, and I did not upgrade Fear Stance. I understand that Fear Stance has a lot of good potential, but none of the unit I actually use myself really would like Fear Stance because I can just run Attack Death Bomb on them. Because the only time I would use Fear Stance is on a bonus unit so I can score an extra few kills. But Attack Death Bomb has a better payoff. Of course it's a bit harder to set up, but when it comes down to enemy face that's extremely easy to set up. So, yeah, I believe that's all I have to say about this update. Short and sweet. Like I said, there's really just not much to say when there's only three seal to say. Like, it's just... Okay, those three seals are now makeable, and then talk about three seal and their utility. <laughs> also, I've replaced the following feedback, because... I've seen a few people say that the background was not good. I ended up making a poll on my Discord, and I found out that the colorless one was the one that was the most faulty. As a matter of fact, the other three are... They tend to be actually... Accepted, uh, more or less liked actually. Uh, colorless was very 50 50, uh, so I did a second one that was more gray, that was more dark, uh, because I figured that way the characters pop up pop out more. And generally, people like that one more, so hopefully, when I have to review another colorless unit, it looks actually better. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I just hope it looks better at the end of the day. Better and not in obviously not intrusive. So, yeah, as per usual, I'm gonna see you all in a comment. See you all next time.